Welcome everybody to another episode of the Jost and Flow Podcast. I am your co-host, Dwayne the Comic. And it's your boy, B-O-O-B-I-E. And we are back with another episode, y'all. Not only are we back with another episode, we are back with another special guest. This time, coming all the way from New Orleans. Yeah. Very funny dude. This dude be working his ass off. Everybody make some noise for Mr. Mark Caesar. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fucking with that. Show, bro. <laughs> I'm yeah. fucking with that, man. Thank y'all for having me. Yes, sir. Thank you for Appreciate you coming out. Yeah. Now, if we start off every episode, what's the last song y'all listened to today? Oh, the last song I listened to was um in the car just now. I'm listening to that Ti from off uh, off uh, Urban Legend. Oh, oh, so the last song I was playing uh chilling with my bitch today was the last song that I just listened to before mm-hmm. I stepped in here. I got run the whole album, you know, but that's what I was. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah. Uh. I'm gonna go with uh, versatility by Sit. Like the last song I was listening to by Sit. Oh, I was like, who the hell is that? Okay. okay. <laughs> Shout out my guy, man. Uh, last song I listened to was What Happened to Virgil with uh, Dirk, Dirk and Gunner. Mm. Alright. Word, 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 word. That's probably the fastest we ever got through that question. Yeah, you usually like us. That's what's up. We're getting better. Yes, sir. <laughs> Keep it rolling. Alright, now. Nah, Rapid five. Oh, okay. Alright. I like you watch your grandparents' five. sex tape for twenty dollars. No, for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Nah, that ain't enough. Uh, like nowhere near enough. A hundred. Nah. I kind of feel like my grandpa showed me him fucking a bitch on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and that would probably be free. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why, why would I need? Yeah, that? like man. That's unsolicited right now. He asked me if I know the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Check that out, young yeah. man. You know, nothing you about know that her? Matter. You know her? <laughs> <laughs> she was that chicken and watermelon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I think that bitch over there fucked my grandfather. Yeah. Man. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's tough. I can that's see her at the second line now. Hey, that's your girl. Who, man? Man, your girl that fucked Papa. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's like, to shoot your shot and she fucked Papa. Yeah. I don't know if we call her Bea or Granny. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Step Granny. Momo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello. Say good, Momo. <laughs> yeah, it ain't nothing. Nothing. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. She got a granny spirit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> she old soul. Yeah, she old yeah. soul. But she just 36. She just 36. Yeah. But she might be a grandma anyway, though. She cool yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. these days. Yeah. She the days before. Shit. <laughs> Turn out to cook breakfast from scratch. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Biscuits and all. Mm-hmm. House full of flour. Flour all over the place. Like, what you doing? <laughs> Looking like an episode of Snowfall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's crazy, though. That's a crazy question. <laughs> yeah, twenty dollars. So did you say yeah? Because you oh, came no, up with that number. It's, it's so definitely no. Oh yeah. I just wanted to make it a low number because if I made a high number, I know somebody would be like, "Oh yeah." I mean, like, that's I was the, point. the first one was like a million. I was like, "Oh yeah, and I watch, watch that." that up. Yeah, there's a lot of shit I do that I probably wouldn't do for a million. So I'll watch that the fact probably. that I might, yeah, I don't know, yeah, yeah. $20, though? It just depends how much yeah. gas I got. Oh, yeah. You get a half, half a ticket gas? You know what I'm saying? Like, how right. much gas I got? <laughs> See, that matters. Know, me. All right. Now, going into the news. Shout out to California. Shout out to God also, because I see how God's working for other people. What do you oh, so he hopefully he's going to come over to us, you know. California is apparently sending 23 million residents inflation relief checks, mm-hmm. which could be up to $1,050 to help ease the financial pain from all this stuff hmm. going on. Inflation so, checks. Yeah. Stem part little step bank, little, little remix edition. You know, that's crazy. Because I mean, oh. in California, that's gonna be just enough to get some gas. Just <laughs> get one tank of gas. In California, it might be a quarter of a tank. No, that's crazy. They were saying when Demarcus Cousins had signed with the Golden State Warriors, mm-hmm. they were saying that man gonna need a roommate <laughs> for the <laughs> amount, oh, for the amount that he signed for. God, that was crazy. That's how high it is in the California, dog. Yeah, the Bay Area, yeah, you can't get it's crazy, house. dog. Ooh. San Jose is ridiculous. Like yeah. it's like the highest place to live in the world, like really? in America San for sure. Jose. Yeah, I never would have guessed that. Yeah, bro, it's high out there, bro. Yeah. The whole Bay Area is just crazy. Yeah. They like, saw that ten fifty and was like, so they got, they owe them. Like they <laughs> inflation, they need to get them reparations on top of the inflation. <laughs> like I want the white, even the white people out there might need reparations. Like they get, they ass whipped. That's how you know it's bad. Yeah, it's man. bad, man. It's bad, bro. Everybody need help. Yeah, for <laughs> everybody can use the help. Just a little bit. Shit. White. Goddamn. Silicon Valley ain't what it used to be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Numbers ain't hitting no more. Mm-mm. Shit. Man. Now, 
we just gonna continue this whole blessing thing. But this one is different. This is people denying their blessings. Because wow. apparently they had a Delta flight, right? Mm-hmm. And they was oh, offering yeah. people ten thousand dollars cash to get off because yeah. it was overbook- overbooked. Yeah, we were everybody just talking about that. Yeah. They uh, all said no. They all said no. Everybody must have been pregnant. Yeah. But somebody <laughs> said, Man, I don't give a damn. You getting off this flight. I heard somebody say it wasn't 10,000 cash. It was like 10,000 in, like, in flights. Flight credits or flight credits. Something. St- I'm like, still. 10K. Yeah, I'm about to say, I still would have took it. That's, man, I'm going to fly just because I, I got the credits. <laughs> and they still, and you still could have booked, they would still booked you a Yeah, you're going to get home eventually. Just, you just get off the plane, bro. I took all the you niggas got to go to work. And counting my money on the way home. I'd have been walking what? home counting my money. I'd have been chilling in the little uh, waiting area, just smiling. I'd have been caught a train. <laughs> Mega bus. They're not going to make you get off there. My family probably would have been mad if I rode with my family. They'd have probably been mad. But I'm like, man, we got 10000 yeah. that we didn't come with. Right. We'll fly somewhere later. Y'all forget all about this. I'm going to pay for yeah, you. Yeah, man. <laughs> I got you. I'm teaching you about sacrifice. Right. <laughs> True. Big, the bigger picture. Yeah. <laughs> Make pimp decisions like uh, Cat Williams say. <laughs> what would a pimp do? Now, from somebody who denied their blessing to mm-hmm. somebody who got their blessing, accepted it, and knew exactly what to do with it. Ooh. Now, you remember the last episode? We had that story where the dude found all that money in the ground and he turned it in. Oh yeah, that dumbass. This time, there was a dude whose job actually accidentally paid him two hundred and eighty-six times his salary, mm-hmm. which is one hundred and eighty k. He took it and then he vanished. Yeah, they definitely. still don't know where he is. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna do. Oh, I'm, I'm off the grid. Yeah. I don't got that same cell phone no more. I don't got nothing. Nothing. I'm not even. I'm this not ain't even, even a million. This ain't even 180 million. This is 180 k. Boy, I got lost off 180 k. I'll be back when I'm finished with it. <laughs> I ain't come. I just go somewhere else. So I start a new life. Deposit me 180 k. They will not see me again. So the other dude who turned it all in, he found eight million. It was or something like five, six million. He yeah. found some millions. But yeah, they had a lady in New Orleans. Just, just, just recently, thing? no, she they they made a mistake on her check. Mm. Hit her with some oh, millions. I remember that. And they were gonna put her in jail. She refused <laughs> yeah. to get her money back. She was like, like, yeah, like this wasn't my, my mistake. Fault. Yeah, that's y'all. Yeah. Yeah. My money now. So I gotta give it back. And people talking about you know that wasn't right. Uh they knew it wasn't Shit. right either. They did it. Feel right to me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Man, who am I to this is wrong. I don't I'm gonna always it. roll with the, 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 the winner. Like <laughs> this is the come up. Yeah. Fuck them people. They don't want to see you shining. That's all it is. They don't want to see a nigga dipped in butter. <laughs> I mean, if you got that much money to fuck up like that anyway, clearly you're right. doing pretty good. That's it. Like, be mad at the accounting department. Right. I'm the wrong one to be, be mad at. Some people up there. You trying to send me to jail? Yeah. You better strike a deal with me. <laughs> we can negotiate half, and I can get half. Back. Yeah, like, hey, just give me this much, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at least give me enough to why I ain't got to come back to this. Right. If I'm gonna be, if I come back to work after giving y'all that, I'm gonna be acting totally different. Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna give a single fuck. It's my <laughs> shit. Not a single one. Right. Now, the part I was waiting for, I wasn't really worried about the news. I want to ask this man some questions. I only Uh-oh. seen him like twice, so I don't know that much about him. Let's do it, man. This is right. interesting, Mr. Mark Caesar. Yeah. I was special guest. Yeah. Started off with something easy. Uh, where are you from? New from- Orleans. Uptown New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, uh-huh. all, I'm all Valence and Magnolia. Home of the Hot Boys. <laughs> home of Cash Money Records. Sure. Home of Peyton Manning. Hell you know yeah. Share, share. Yeah, share. Man, yeah, man. We, my neighborhood is something else. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got BG, we got BG and Peyton Manning at the same <laughs> time. Yeah. And Randy Livingston. That's crazy. All from the same time. Covering so everything. Yeah, bro. It was crazy. All walks of <laughs> And you got me. Yeah, I don't know where I stack up in the mix, but you're right there with yeah, I'm right there. I'm in the right <laughs> <laughs> But we in the mix, though, man. We in the mix. But that's where I'm from. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uptown. You think? Yeah. yeah. How old are you? I'm 35. Really? 35. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll be 36 in November. Man, black, black don't crack. I was yeah, about man. to say, I got you. I'm, I'm nice. Unless you do it. Yeah. There you go. That is true. And, but that, and then even then, Take you know, you get abs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it works gotta, out. Yeah, it works out. It's, it's, uh, it's supernatural strength. Yeah, you, know, you do. I just was telling them that. Supernatural strength. I just was telling them that. You do get strength. No, you could. I just seen crackheads lift a motor out of cup. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no motor motor. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Just, just hands. You don't want to shoot that crack <laughs> with nobody. So just hands. Him. He better do it by himself. <laughs> just hands, bro. You do it for five hours. Yeah, five hours. <laughs> Look, yeah, that's all he needs. Catch my jokes tonight, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, bro. All right. Uh, what school did you go to? 
Which one? We talking about high school or yeah. college? Or, oh, all right, I might have a chance of knowing in high school. All right, so for high school, I went to full shit, which is in my hood. I don't know why uh, I'm saying <laughs> Y'all might not know Foshe, but we got some we got some alumni that came out of Foshe. We got uh Morris Bart, the lawyer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not expecting right. that. Morris Bart, Morris <laughs> Birdman, um Aeneas Williams. Who's that? Aeneas Thanks. Williams played cornerback for the St. Louis Rams, NFL Hall of Famer. Oh sure. Won the okay. Super Bowl with the Rams, back with right. the greatest show on turf. Yeah. You know okay. what I'm saying? Shout um, out. Went to Southern, you know what I'm saying? SU alone. Um so yeah, um, facts. Yeah, we we got some people come out of that. Nice so nice full shade. Story. I went to full shade. Then I went to Riverdale. You know what I'm saying? Riverdale don't got nobody came out of that. <laughs> uh, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. We got Mark Caesar. They got me and uh, Dante Jackson. Uh, Dante, you know yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dante, 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 went to, Dante, Dante went to Riverdale. Dante. So yeah, yeah. Dante went to Riverdale. That nigga that was, yep, I used yep. to talk about that nigga when he uh he got his he got torched by a uh, receiver from Florida. Which was and crazy. I was, I was at that game, so yeah. Because yeah, he hard the to torch. <laughs> yeah. That motherfucker fast. And he wrote, like, he had all the state records in like in track and field. It's crazy because he did that and I, I, that was my main memory of him. Yeah. And then he got to the league and he was cold as a motherfucker. Yeah. Like outrun. I'm like, bro, where was all this at LSU <laughs> when we needed well, it? Well at LSU they ain't know where to play. Because remember he got drafted, he was when we first got that they had a running back. Yeah. Then he was a wide receiver. Then he was a cornerback. And the fact that he got drafted in the second round after only being there three years and playing cornerback one year yeah. is insane so, to me. Yeah. <laughs> so that's true. Talent crazy, dog. Shout out to Dante Jackson. Yeah, still with man. the Panthers? Yeah, yeah, still with the Panthers, man. Out, still with bro. the Panthers. He man. went to Iowa. Just yeah. all good. Yeah. He went to it's all good, though, man. But yeah. Right, Are you, you a go. Saints fan? I am. I'm a Saints fan. I'm a Saints fan. I ain't one of the crazy Saints fans, but I'm. <laughs> I'm a Saints fan. Like I definitely like to see them do good. You know what I'm saying? The city being a better place when they do good. Crime be way down when the Saints do good. People talking about the murder rate norms right now and how high it is and us being number one in the nation. But you know, I think these numbers are based off not football season. So <laughs> <laughs> when football season rolling around, it's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. The numbers gonna be better. It's gonna look better. You know. Part so two. we had one. We had one seventy five right now for the year. Let me say about time spring training rolling around. You know, not spring training, uh, fall ball, whatever they got going on, start rolling around. What you gonna see, man? The numbers gonna dip. The numbers gonna dip, man. Cause <laughs> niggas gonna be black and go to the Super Bowl. They ain't gonna worry about killing nobody. You got time for them. Niggas man. gonna get killed on Portraits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> they gonna figure it out. See, we can't be killing each other. We all need to pack this dome. Mm-hmm. You know, the <laughs> dome, the dome patrol, the nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you be killing your teammates. Yeah, man. What uh, what got you into comedy? So, I feel like comedy kind of like chose me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I've been doing comedy since I was 15. So, I feel like comedy chose me from a standpoint of just being funny, right? Mm-hmm. Already. But also having the comedy resources around me that were around me. Like, I got a chance to grow up around a really famous comedian, you know what I'm saying, from my hood, you know what I'm saying, uh, I was naming the people from my hood, I ain't named her, but she <laughs> she was big, huge, you know, um, Miss Jelly Dupree was was the co-host of the Times on the Morning Show for mm-hmm. most of my life, and um, she had movies with Martin, you know, Talking Dirty at the Dog, I don't know if y'all remember that Martin movie, probably one of Martin's first movies, took it up, Talking Dirty at the Dog, but she's the co-star of the movie. Uh, so the movie with Martin had to drive his car in reverse the whole movie because his hand had no four wheel drive. He was he was moved by Martin being a comedian. It's basically a, a movie about a com- comedian trying to come up okay. and being funny. You know, know what I'm saying? Know. Yeah, talking dirty at the dog. Look that up, man. So she was in that and she just man, um, she was she's major. Like you know what I'm saying? She used to have her own comedy club in LA and everything like that. So she used to always have these parties and stuff at her crib, and you know I used to always be there. And just ribbing and talking shit. And she thought, you know, asked me if I could write the stuff. And I started writing. She told me to go do it. You know what I'm saying? And we had to, actually had the comedy club, comedy theater, Lana Week Comedy Theater, right on for Red Street. So if you ever been, you ever come down for the open mic, you ever been to another bar? Mm-hmm. So what another bar is? Right there on the corner was the comedy theater, Lana Week Comedy Theater. Hmm. And that's where I got my start at, okay. way back in 2002. That's what's up. So yeah, man. Oh, twenty years, man. Grand. Twenty years. So that was the first. That was the first place you went on stage. Yeah. How did it go? It went great. It went great, man. To me, um, <laughs> I mean, to the people that to the people that was there too, it went really good. I still remember some of the jokes. Um, but um, 
Still tell any of them? Nah, I don't tell. <laughs> I don't think I tell any of those. Every now and then, I might, I might dip back into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but just me being from Forest Street and starting my career on Forest Street, it's kind of how I feel like comedy chose me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I do feel like I was like a protege in the comedy game. So. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, like so you saw it in you. Yeah, man. Yeah, That's and awesome. just 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 growing up with it, man, and you know, and doing it, doing it, it, yeah, yeah, and doing it through high sure. school and having my friends right there who they already knew I was funny too. And I always tell uh, comics this when they come to me about comedy tips or uh, if any, not even just a comic. If a person wants to get into comedy, you know, I always tell them like. Do people think you funny? Like I asked them that. Like you know what I'm saying? Because if, because if people think you funny, that's like half the battle. You don't want to just go up there because you think you could do it. You don't just be the guy to like, you know, man, I can't really do comedy. Yeah. Well, has anybody ever laughed at you? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? What so think, like, like, what makes you think? You never got a laugh in your life. You gonna try to get on? You stage. just gonna get on stage <laughs> and, and now you gonna be mad when nobody don't laugh and gonna say we don't get it. <laughs> you you ain't know how to give it. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know. You don't even get it. Yeah. So. <laughs> So I just felt like, you know, comedy was one of those things that I just was chosen for. And I don't even know if comedy my my best thing or anything, but I just know that over the years it's opened up a lot of doors for me and put a lot of food on my table and fed my kids and, and, you know, made my way of life, you know what I'm saying? So comedy definitely, you know, definitely felt like I was chosen for it. Okay. Well, you mentioned you had, how many kids you had? I got four kids. Four? I got four kids. I got three boys. My boys are big, and I got a a, a a baby girl who's not. She's about to be one. So yeah, man. So I'm out the game now. But <laughs> but yeah, um, jersey is hung up. Man, is it hanging? <laughs> it's got dust on it. It's the hanging. It's <laughs> hanging. It's hanging at the doctor's office. Like this is some legendary sperm here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like own cool. yeah, like this is out. I'm out, baby. I'm out. Mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like uh like when Ace. Was on, uh, paid him full <laughs> and he got shot. My body different. I'm, 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 I'm a walk different. I told him, I said, I'm coming different. <laughs> My balls are different. Yeah, not. I'm, I'm shooting, bro. I'm out, baby. <laughs> niggas get pregnant every day. Man. You'll be all right. Yeah, exactly. niggas get reversed every day, B. You'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not, man. But yeah, man, I'm out the game. So I got my kids, bro. My kids are in the sports and stuff. And, you know they done good. Shout out to my son basketball team too, man. They won national. They won national championship for basketball. Damn. Yeah, yeah, they good. Out. They good. Like twenty six and zero. Damn. Okay, they true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this ain't good. Yeah. It was like his AAU team or his school. It's AAU. AAU. Yeah, they they only nine. Or they eight. They just made nine. So Damn. they yeah I they already been ranked. Wood. Yeah, bro. It's That's to the something. point where. After the first quarter, we can't play defense no more. Mm. You gotta be in the restricted area. Can y'all just not? We gotta be in the paint <laughs> for three quarters. And I'd be like, let the children play though, because <laughs> got scouts I'm like, they're supposed to be the best of the best. Also, like we supposed to be, mm-hmm. but at the same time, <laughs> they ain't coming like we can. That's teach the kids not to be competitive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like not to go all you, out. Are you down by out. twenty? Now you get to He's shoot. So now they not now the game's looking close. Because they busting threes on us because we got to stay in the paint. Now they looking way better than what they was. So if they if they start busting threes on us in the fourth quarter, and we start, we could press in the fourth. So up. now we could press. <laughs> now now we jerks for the, <laughs> the kids out of press. Nope. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Teaching them the game. But the Nobody team, man, saying they, that they was getting them roach buckets. They, right. they team just crazy, man. They team is it's insane. <laughs> so shout out, shout out to them, man. Shout, shout out. out to them. I've been wanting to shout them out on the podcast. They pretty shout good, out. though, man. What's their uh, mascot? Um, it's it's a shell <laughs> it's a shell met team, right? So we don't really have. I guess they're the Warriors, but I say I'm gonna call y'all the shell met bridge because <laughs> the uniform is just like the Warriors. Oh, so the it's the bridge. bridge. It's it like we got <laughs> shell met. So in shell met, they got this bridge called the Green Bridge. You know what I'm saying? That's the bridge that connect New Orleans and shell met, or New Orleans East and shell met. Like so, if you come like where Six Flags used to be at, mm-hmm. right behind that, that's shell met. Mm-hmm. So you know we say uh, <laughs> I'm calling y'all the Shaw Mac Greenbridge. Y'all Warriors? Nah, we the Green Bridge. Green Bridge. We the Warriors. We the Bridge. We the Bridge. The Bridge is over. Yeah. <laughs> like nah, burn the Bridge. Yeah, man. But nah, they uh, they good. So shout out to them, man. Shout they out. rank two, man. Shout the team ranked number one in the nation, and two two of the kids on the team are ranked one A and one B. 
in the class of y'all really are in the class of 2032. 2032. 2032. That's, 2032. That's their class. They already ranking. They call it the middle school composite, man. They already <laughs> ranking these kids, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> They're funny. Hey, um, for real. Who's some of your favorite comedians? You would say. I don't know. Mm. I don't know because well, honestly, I don't watch a lot of comedy. Really? I don't. Why not? Um, only because I feel like comedians that watch a lot of comedy tend to sound like the people they watch. And it's like, and there's no, there's no slight to anybody. It's just, just it's just how life is. <laughs> I'm gonna do math the way my math teacher teach it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm gonna do English. I'm gonna do, you know, whatever the case may be. This is the way it's being taught. Right. So you're, you're, and you're, and you're, and you're watching comedy. You, you're watching it. You're learning. You know what I'm saying? If you're, if you're Even a comedian, you, you instinctively just yeah. pick up on all that. Now, I, I like, I might watch comedy for different reasons. Like, I like, I might look at who, how is this guy's stage presence? How is he moving about on the stage? How is he? What kind of facial expressions are he making when he delivered a joke? Or she making? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what is, what are those things? Like, that's that's the type of things I really like to dive into because I feel like that's the hidden part of the game Thanks. that people don't pay pay attention to yeah. enough. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes for the joke. Like, you may be able to tell a joke, same joke as me, exactly. Verbatim. But it might not hit the way it might hit with me because you ain't going to deliver it the way I'm going to deliver it. Or you ain't going to... Um, it's like when you try to go tell a joke at work. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the joke you heard, you're like, man, I'll tell y'all this joke. And then I might not come out. People are like, that's what would be funny to you. Like, <laughs> like, so I don't get I it. Just had to be like, there. Man, y'all had to be there. It was hilarious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trust me, it's funny. It's yeah, like, man, I'm going to lie to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So I, I feel like um, I don't watch a lot of comics, but I do. Like, I'm going to be real. I like, I used to like a lot. Um, I like I used to like Mitch Hepburn. Okay. Uh, Mitch Hepburn was a very very funny comedian. His style was like no other. I like that's what I liked about Mitch. You know what I'm saying? I like Kevin Hart too. Kevin Hart. The thing with Kevin is people love to hate Kevin. That's like the thing they do <laughs> now. It's like once you get to a certain level of fame, mm-hmm. people gotta hate you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit. They gotta hate you. <laughs> like you, like it's like with the Warriors. Like think about it. Go State Warriors. We didn't care when they wasn't winning. It was like, oh man, these dudes could shoot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then start they come and they start winning. Like, oh, these could shoot. <laughs> oh, they could win. Oh, they gonna keep winning. Oh, I hate these niggas. We hate them. <laughs> <laughs> they lose them. Yeah. yeah, that's going for racist Boston. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, that's going for Boston baked beans, dog, Yo. to beat these people. I can't stand out. What's going for Boston? We was going for Boston because. <laughs> Don't we don't want them win. winning no more, <laughs> dog. <laughs> Anybody but these niggas. Anybody but the these is. niggas. And that's the thing, dog. It's like Kevin got so successful. He got more successful than any comedian ever been. Like, it's I don't think way. people realize that. And he have he hasn't had a fall off. You don't realize it because he's doing it so he's doing effortlessly. It. It's just so bro. It, it's just, just <laughs> then he took everybody, he took all the middlemen out and just said, I'm going to do this shit myself. And produce my own shit, book my own tours, everything. Computer put put my stuff. own team together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Put his own yeah. team together of people who can produce, produce a team, a production team that can, you know, we go in city to city, getting the set like whatever Rock Nation would have did. You know what I'm saying with the tours, a live nation should I say would have done with the tours. He like did it himself, yeah. and that's crazy. Like that's phenomenal, bro. Right. Like that's not supposed, that's like, not supposed to do it. That's where you should want to go. Yeah. But also, if you're making good money, you don't. I don't, don't have to touch everything. But <laughs> Kevin want to take advantage and you know and put his destiny, put his destiny in his own hand, which is great. You know what I'm saying? And that's why people be like, oh, such and such money to him. No, they not. Yeah. No, they're not, bro. No, they're not. Because if they if they was, right they would be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If y'all thought they was that much funnier, the, y'all would be the fans. Y'all would go if y'all if it was really that. You know what I'm saying. The same people who be saying like people at WNBA, they be like WNBA should be doing this and that. Like people be saying like y'all be saying from watch the WNBA. Yeah. The majority of the man. audience is the men. Like, Nobody at this game, but y'all okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know. They they come in town tomorrow. Buy a ticket. Say nah, nah. I work. Yeah, but if I didn't, like, you wasn't yeah. fucking going anyway. Like you know what I'm saying? Like so, that'd be the thing. Like that, like people will act like he ain't funny. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now I get some you stuff that ain't gonna be for everybody, right. but 
you know, nah, homie funny. You he know what I'm saying? He definitely one of my favorites. He one of my favorites, man. Yeah. I used to say he wasn't as funny as he used to be, but then yeah. he dropped that last special that was in his house. Yeah. And I was like, oh, nah, this motherfucker still got still, it. Bro. <laughs> still, bro. Still. Home. Still. He's still killing. So I like to thank, I, and I hope I ain't going too much, but, um, nah, you good. Duh. Sure. Like, Same. I always like to think of what's my favorite bit when I think of comedy. Like, mm-hmm. every comedian got a bit where you'd be like, yo, that was his peak. That was his peak on yeah. stage. Like Bernie Mac milk and cookies mm-hmm. was his peak on stage. It's a milk and cookie. You know that was his peak <laughs> on stage, bro. Dave Chappelle killing mm-hmm. him so I think I feel like his I feel like his his peak was in killing him softly. Oh, that's so as far crazy. as joke wise. Oh, that's so like crazy. it's tough. I, it, with it's him, tough it's like with some of his newer peaks. shit. Yeah, yeah. Like he, he went he, he went away, came yeah, back with came a new back peak. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole fishbowl joke in a fishbowl yeah. where I went out. Plus random pussy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, stove top. Bro, that's, the stove <laughs> stops toughing, bro. Yeah. And that, to start this joke, to start the comedy set off <laughs> with that and to end with a callback, that's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. But I still feel like the better bit, my favorite bit, though, was Kevin Hart's mom's funeral. Oh, when his, uh, his dad, mom's dad slapped him in the back of his head. Don't ask it. Could you imagine being at a, <laughs> at a, at a funeral and they lose a Paul Barrow, bro? Because <laughs> he just said, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of this shit. I'm out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the whole part about his uncle saying we're yeah. gonna go kill cancer. You know what I'm saying? His other uncle getting up there talking about how they was sucking dick. You know what I'm saying? Like his grandma fake passing out. There's so like, much going on. It's so it's much. But if you ever, if you've been to a funeral, which we all have, you know that all of these characters exist <laughs> all at happened. the funeral. <laughs> like. All of these characters exist. I've never been to a funeral where a fight hasn't almost broken out. <laughs> Ever. Like, so I feel like that bit was just so phenomenal, man. Like, that that bit. And that may not be the best bit in the comedy world ever. But I'm just saying, like, that's my favorite bit. You know what I'm saying? So as opposed to just having favorite comedians and stuff like that, I have. I just take certain things from certain people. And I think that that bit was when you look at a person and you look at a comedian and say, that was you. That was, that was your highest. Yeah. It's hard to top. Which is special. That's laughing my pain. That's laughing my pain. That's laughing my pain. That's, right. That's when he really was becoming seriously funny. Laughing my pain. That look. so he had grown little man seriously funny. Then laugh at my pain. Yeah, and then, uh, it's always something about that third man. <laughs> something about That's that when third. That's when it's kind of all coming together. All come together. Even with rappers, their third album it usually be that thing. Like it'd be like, yeah, I'm like damn, that. like. That was the one, like, Seriously Funny was the one that set it up. Like, oh, yeah, he yeah. owns, like... He, Grown he little man, he was still yeah. doing shows like us. You know what I'm yeah. saying? On some shit, you know? Killing, but not... He had Killing, to but... Yet to, uh, yeah. yeah, he might get a Comedy comedy Central spot here and there. Yeah. And but, then Seriously nah, Funny was like, oh, okay, yeah. That is yeah. dude funny. Yeah. yeah. Laughing yeah. My Pain was like, oh, yeah, this he's great. Laughing My Pain was like, he's <laughs> great. He like, he it. was... That was the step. Whatever he do after yeah. that, don't even matter. You good. Because he did this. <laughs> <laughs> He still gave us this, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter. Uh, my favorite part of laughing my pain, it's not even the whole bit, it's just the part when he talked about uh, being in the fun bounce. He said, look, kids are jumping and they stepped, stumped in the little girl's face. in the girl face, dog. <laughs> like, so you better roll out. I can't, I can't, I can't come in there and get you. Daddy can't save you. Yeah, man. Now, uh, you remember of Piss Your Pants Comedy? Yeah, that's, that's the company. Yours? Yeah. Just, okay, okay. That's well, my company, yeah, man. Let us know about that. Shout out to Team Pitch Your Pants. You uh, dig? We still Bishop rolling, Pants. still going strong. You know what I'm saying? They was saying they was they, they was throwing some things out there. And uh Sea Bass, I don't know if you're gonna see this or not. <laughs> it is, but they were saying Sea Bass got a little team. And they were saying, um, we should do a Sea Bass team versus Pitch Your Pants team. And I was like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm with it. Okay. Just, I don't know. It might be tough though, because you know, <laughs> Team Pitch Your Pants is crazy. So Team Pitch Your Pants started in 2010, right? Okay. So oh, Pitch Your got some tenure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I name the people to you, you're gonna you're gonna be like, that's crazy. But um, just Pitch Your Pants in general, where it started at was it started off how it came about was it started off somebody was trying to describe me to somebody when I first came home from Afghanistan. They was trying to describe me. To someone, this was 2008 when they first came about, and it was like, nah, he piss your pants funny. <laughs> so I come, I, I come around and say, oh, this Mr. Piss your pants. <laughs> <laughs> so then, boom, I'm like, I guess, yeah. So then, <laughs> sure. I make it my Twitter name. When Twitter came about 2009, I make it my Twitter name. Then, as we coming along, 
my DJ, shout out to DJ GQ, uh, Just Mikey. Uh, Mikey came up with Team Pitcher Pants. It was like Twitter was everything it was Team this, Team that. Gotcha. So that's where Team Pitcher Pants <laughs> come from. Until Team Pitcher Pants actually became a real team. The first member on the team was they argue about this all the time, but up between <laughs> Brady and Jose Nacho Negro. So Jose is from Jennifer, Louisiana. And I know y'all know Brady. Brady live out here now. Brady. Brady. Yeah. Brady. So it was between them two, who was the first two? They okay. both actually came at the same time. So <laughs> then, boom, it's me, Brady, Jose. Then it was Courtney G. Courtney G don't do a lot of kind anymore, but if y'all ever seen the shit New Honors Girl say videos, Courtney was the girl in the videos. She was mm-hmm. funnier than the motherfucker. So it was Courtney G. Then, boom, it was Mario P. Okay. So, you know, then it's Mario P. It's all us. Then it's, um, then it was, uh, Shervy. Okay. Then Nonsense. Kirk? Then um yeah, Team Kirk. <laughs> sure, but then nonsense. <laughs> then you got you got you got you got uh <clears throat> you got Shabazz. Um oh, I Shabazz I Playtime out of Generate. So Shabazz is out of Generate also, but he lives in Houston. So you got Shabazz out of Houston, you got Ben Jackson out of Houston, um you got J Can out of okay. Houston, you got uh Smiley the Comedian, you got Troy got next. You got Sleepy. You got Sleepy the comedian. You got um, William X. Uh, you fucking Avengers. Yeah, bro. It's a lot of us, dog. It's a lot of us. Shout out to Dirty Mouth. Dirty Mouth in here with me right now. Whoa, what was that? I'm Dirty Mouth. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit, Riga Ruby. Uh, man, bro. It's just so many of us, dog. So, That's crazy. And it's nothing but killers. Like, everybody is all killing, doing comedy specials. Shit like that, Frank White, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, there was a lot of us, still is, and you know, we still roll, and everybody then branched out, got their own subsidiaries going on, but we all still come together like Voltron and do our thing too <laughs> at the same time. So, um, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's a whole bunch of killers, you know what I'm saying? We didn't all tour it all over together. And crazy, so yeah, Bishop Pants is still a thing. Shout out to uh Troy, got his comedy special about to come out by the film. Uh, oh, so I forget, how can I forget? Sub, shout out to Sub Tree Sean, Sub Tree Sean, uh, been ruling me for like seven ah, years okay. now. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we deep, man, we deep, bro, <laughs> we deep. The names and most of these comedians yeah. uh get their start with me, you know what I'm saying? We start, we work, we have writing sessions. We'd be locked in the last out to Kevin Little. How could I forget Kevin Little? Uh-huh. Team Fisher Pants. You know what I'm saying? You can tell you from the same neighborhood as Birdman. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kevin Little, man. Kevin from the same neighborhood, too. You know what I'm saying? So, you got this whole crazy. collective. Yeah, yeah, bro. We, yeah. So, my whole thing, my whole thing with Fisher Pants was always, because I come up under baby. So, my whole thing was really to um, model it like cash money. You know what I'm saying? Just. Give everybody a chance to come out and do their thing with everybody. Some dogs, though. You know what I'm saying? There's no yeah. weak link. No, no, weak, no, no chink in the armor. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody so, strong. Yeah, shout out to all of them, man. That's, uh, that's a lot of names to name. But shout out to everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of them. Yeah. You know, I'm proud to miss people. I, I believe you. Dustin, I believe you. Dustin <laughs> Arroyo. You know what I'm saying? If y'all ever seen the first Friday New Orleans <clears> video, <throat> Dustin Arroyo was the detective on that, the white guy. That's Dustin. Dustin used to be my feature on tour. Um... Hardaway Jr. Can't forget Hardaway Jr. Uh, can't forget Juan Acosta, uh, Uncle G. Mo, Wise Guy West. Like man, we is deep. Boy, you ever hear Team Fisher Pants looking for you, boy? It's, 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 it's a lot of them. You got fifty <laughs> niggas on you fighting like pretty kids. With Fisher Pants shirts on, they had to move around like that survival tactic dude when he was getting jumped. He was spinning up the way. That's how they got to move around us, man. Damn. Oh, Janelle Banks, man. Shout out to Janelle Banks from Kansas City. He's going to be here all day. going to be here all day, name and name. going to be here all day, name and name. <laughs> shout out to Taj Washington, man. I can't shout forget Taj, out. man. I'm trying to make sure I don't leave nobody out. This how it be when we come time to put the shows together, too. They'll be like, damn, I don't want to make sure I'm missing nobody. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Somebody gets too many people. Show me four days. Show me, yeah. yeah. Festival. That's what we about to show. We about to do a Pitcher Pants Comedy House New Orleans Takeover. Mm-hmm. Well, we're gonna we gonna do about eight shows. That'll be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be about eight. Whole, yeah, yeah, eight shows with eight different headlines, eight different hosts, eight different features. Yeah, Ooh, all right. from Pitcher Pants. That's what's all up. from Pitcher Pants, man. All right, 
right and now. That's nice how you keep it all in the family and everything. Yeah, you man. Know. Got to. Got to. Now you got to piss your pants. Right. And you don't you don't have just that. I see you got the shirt on. Yeah, man. You got now your never. clothing brand. Yeah, man. Now we never lifestyle apparel, man. Mm-hmm. Um, Tell them people about it. Tell them about it. So now and never is a lifestyle clothing brand that came about from my comedy tour, the Now and Never Comedy Tour. Okay. So the Now and Never Comedy Tour started in twenty sixteen. Uh I used to work for Walmart, right? And I was a store manager for Walmart. And I was making, you know, if, if anybody knows a store manager from Walmart's salary, it's, it's a pretty good salary. But I was kind of doing about the same amount of money doing comedy, too. But I felt like I was not doing as much comedy because I was giving so much time to Walmart. Yeah. So I quit that motherfucker. Because mm-hmm. they tried to make me work on Mardi Gras. I don't do that. So <laughs> I, uh... That's funny. That's, so I, that's I, the last straw. Right? Yeah, this is it. This is the straw that broke the camel's back right here. Y'all want me to work for what day? <laughs> Y'all could ask me my I birthday. They do all the work. Everybody quit. I was working in boutique. You know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah, how we ninety? So uh, <laughs> so I quit, and not knowing what was gonna happen next. You know what I'm saying? Um, my representation called me and said that they had a tour opportunity for me to kick off, and they had the cities lined up and everything, and it was 56 cities. So my tour, my now and never tour, 56 cities, and I did all 56 cities four times. So um, that was the start of now and never comedy tour, and I was just saying now and never so much to the point where it was getting beating people here. They were like, "Well, that's your boy, Mr. Now and Never." You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we just ran, shirt. yeah, put it on. We just ran with it. That was my merch. So you know, we had the now and never merch or whatever. So then, boom, fast forward to the pandemic. Um, as the pandemic come along. You got, um, I had to figure out what I was going to do because all I do is comedy, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I had to figure out, well, what was my next step? And uh, I just decided to make it its own standalone brand, its own, its own entity, you know what I'm saying? So that's why now I'm never apparel coming to play, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's been doing good. So for since, so since 2020, it's been its own entity and doing its own thing, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So yeah, I, I design and make all the clothes myself, you really? know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, man. Yeah, you grind. That's what's up. Yeah. Like, you seen um, when y'all whenever you post like your pop up shops and shit. Yeah, like, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. Got to, got to, That's got to. Shout out. Shout, Shout out. out boy, yeah. Working boy. Y'all gonna cop that merch, man. Yeah, man. Check out the Now and Never website, man. Just now and never apparel dot com. Now and never apparel dot com. Yeah. Put the link somewhere on the screen. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Um, okay, now you talked about uh, Troy having a special coming up. Well, recording a special soon. Yeah, you also recorded a special what, a couple months ago. Yeah, in March. In March, March, I recorded uh, my Shut Up Caesar. Yeah, um, comedy special. How was that? It was phenomenal. I I feel like it's my best work. Okay. Um, everybody that was there felt like it was my best work. Um, and I and that's hard to say because my comedy money, mm. comedy special. To date, we've done 87,000 downloads of that one. Hey, um, where can they find that one? They can find that at um, Gumroad on Gumroad.com. So it's it's Comedy Money slash Gum. No, it's Gum, G-U-M dot co, C-O, forward slash Comedy Money. Gotcha. And um, you can find that on there. You know what I'm saying? Um, but comedy Money, I felt like Comedy Money was... Phenomenal! Like that was my first time watching myself mm-hmm. and laughing, like <laughs> like I had never seen it. You know what I'm saying? Good. Still like, to this day, up. yeah. Still to this day, when I watch it, I still I still laugh. Like damn, like nigga, you really said that? <laughs> and, uh, like you really did that? You know? And uh, but you that but I felt like I feel like Shut Up Caesar mm-hmm. is better than that. Like from Shut on Shut Up Caesar. From my first joke to my last, in a in a forty five minute set, the people never stop laughing. Like Hell it's yeah. just you would think it's a laugh track. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> like that. On a ride. You, you would think it's a laugh track the way they laugh, man. From somebody going from the time I touched the stage, bro, to the time I left, to the time I came down. No you yeah, man. Straight yeah. Love. Just straight gas. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, so I'm excited about it. I don't know when it's dropping. If that's the next question, I don't know when it's dropping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when it's dropping because cause I, I don't, don't want to rush it, man. Yeah. I don't, don't want to rush it, which I people like, man, it's been six months. What the hell you mean, rush it? I, I, just, <laughs> I don't know. Like, 
Can't rest Take the time. Yeah, make sure man. It's perfect. I yeah. just want to make sure I put it out the right way. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like putting it out on gum rope is cool. You know, that's a good way to make money. You know, I had a lot of downloads and things like that. But I just feel like, excuse me, putting it on a gum rope is cool. But I feel like I got something else up my sleeves that's going to. I'm going to put it out a different way. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm, I'm just waiting for that. I don't want to have to put it out, take it down, and do it again. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't want to catch everybody on one. Do it one right swoop. the first time. Yeah. So you do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much got toward to the end, basically. Um, now, you've done shows, like you said, 56 City Tour. You've done shows all over. Yeah. Where are some of, the, um, some of your favorite places to perform? Some of my favorite places to perform. This one, I'm going to trip y'all out, but mm. Lafayette. Okay. Lafayette. I understand Lafayette. Lafayette, Louisiana is up there, man. I like Lafayette. It's I up there. And I have never, I haven't even never, I've never done the Lafayette comedy thing. Okay. Like Lafayette so what, comedy? What have you done out there? I mean, I just put shows together out there. Oh, gotcha. And the people that I rock with in Lafayette, they always come. Like, over the years, they always come. Like, man, I just did a show two weeks ago at the Feed and Seat out there. Which, oh, with, uh, Will Merrill was on the show. Yeah, me, yeah. Will, uh, Shoddy, um, and what's the kid name? I don't call him a kid. Uh, Chris, I say Chris Jones. I feel like his name Chris Jones. I think his name Chris Jones, y'all. He on the fly, but he, he from <laughs> he from BR. But okay. he but he living. Chris Franklin. Nah, nah, okay. nah. He about he do he look like me a little bit, but he got a fade. But he uh he live out there and left yet though. He went to UL, so okay. he live out that way. But uh, he, he was funny. He was funny too. But uh, they um that was a good show. Like it was packed front to back. He didn't see any of them, but um, they had them big, big, big box fans all over the place. Ooh. But I like I like Lafayette. Um, Lafayette is a cool place to perform, man. Uh, Fresno, California mm. was another one. Um, that's a gangster ass place. I don't know if y'all know that. It's one of the, <laughs> I did. The biggest gangsters in the I world country for is sure. out there in Fresno, man. Like, that's around E40 and them way. Um, yeah. Like, Child. Yeah, like Fresno, bro. That's it got some gangsters and pimps in that motherfucker. My we was but but when they come, they come out. So Fresno is a good place to perform for me. Um, New York is always fun. Every time I perform in New York, it's fun. Like um, I have, I've had some crazy sellout shows in New York. Uh, um, um, Houston, I love. I I love performing in Houston, man. I feel like they be like I'm from Houston when I'm off that joint, like <laughs> like Drake. Yeah, man, <laughs> on, on some shit, you know. Yeah. And plus, we got a lot of New Orleans people that you know made Houston their home. So yeah. that'd be yeah. another thing. They bring their people out. They bring their people out. People just like with everything, home. bro. It'd be just like home. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that place like I come from. Yeah, yeah. So Houston, Houston is one of them ones, bro. And Baton Rouge, I'm about to cut up in Baton Rouge tonight, man. I like coming to Baton Rouge, mm-hmm. so. We're going to get it in tonight. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. That's all the questions I got for right now. Great answer, though. I yeah, man. Answer. Thank you. That was some knock them over. That was great. That was nice. Yeah, man. I, I like I like, I like, like doing the podcast thing, man. I like getting a chance to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> this be the important thing. This be the part. This be the only time you really get to tell your story. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How and, you want to do it. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell your story. Your own to the people that actually want to hear it first. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Be too many times you be talking to people that don't even care about what you're talking about. <laughs> looking off and looking yeah. off and shit. Say, oh, this nigga still talking. This nigga still talking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. This ain't no way. <laughs> so, nah, it's cool, man. I appreciate y'all having me. Yes, we sir. appreciate you for pulling up. All right, so now, we're going to take a step into my world. Oh, shit. Oh, you got it? I don't. Why oh, you don't have it? I never have it. What is it? You need a lighter? A little something called <laughs> either or. You don't need no lighter. Hey, <laughs> maybe later. All right. So, just give you two options. Pick one. All right. All right. Either miss the game when it shot mm-hmm. or had a game when it shot hit on you. Oh, miss it. Yeah, I'd much rather miss it. <laughs> All right, me too. All right. I'd rather miss it. Let's right. fuck it, live another day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already on video in high school throwing an interception <laughs> that lost the game. So, so you be, huh? Yeah, then getting stepped on on the way to the oh, touchdown. Oh, man. So, yeah, 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 yeah. He already lived that up. Yeah, yeah. That's why, yeah. And I, I people bought the t- Somebody recorded four down on four. And bought the fucking tape to school and was playing it. 
<laughs> like, look at Mark. Joseph. Yeah, yeah, man. It's <laughs> killing me. <laughs> but you got to be able to take it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know. Sure. But I definitely, I definitely missed the game. <laughs> Throw it might be game one of a best of five. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. you're coming back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, back yeah game. you know? Run it back, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, run it back. I already miss. <laughs> All right. Chips and queso or chips and salsa? Chips and queso. Queso. Damn, me too. Queso. All right. You got to pay for chips and queso. That's how you know it's Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> chips and salsa will be free. They yeah, said that shit is on the table. table. <laughs> All right. Either the Flintstones or the Jetsons? Flintstones? Flintstones. Yeah. They say Flintstones. Damn. Jetsons ain't never got no movie. <laughs> yeah. That is true. I would go with the Jetsons, <laughs> though. All right. Either be a bathroom attendant or clean porta potties. The same thing. Bathroom attendant. Is it a bathroom attendant? That's a nigga with the mints. That's a nigga with the mints. Yeah, I'm about to say. <laughs> he black just and shit all day. Black and <laughs> Squirt some cologne on you. Say, look, you know, it's some uh, soul plane. <laughs> that fresh shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll be the bathroom attendant. Nah, fuck that. Yeah, if I, right. I get soda, yeah. Niggas get nasty in the urinal. All right. <laughs> now, do you do you smoke? No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna ask the question anyway. Hot box in 100 degree weather or shell blunt with 10, 10 people in the house? Shell blunt with 10 people in the house? You do that? I'm just, the house got air conditioning on. <laughs> a little bit. You might get one punch like of this box True, but I mean, I'm not gonna be in, in that in hot box. box. In honey, I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna even get to hit it. <laughs> yeah, I had some easy ones today. Cause not only is it hot outside, it's hot in the car. It's hot in the car. Yep. Whew. I'm the windows. And, and you're smoking. Too. And the yeah. windows are. And my car black. You're not gonna even get high. But you're, you're, you're high to be blown before you yeah, hit the blunt. You ain't gonna get high in either one of them. <laughs> no, no, no. You're just doing it to do it. <laughs> just smoking. You might as well get a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's like nose bad. Yeah, man. Just get a joke. Yeah. I shall be I'm good. I'm people, good. Bro. <laughs> Say, nah, bro. Y'all, y'all got that. All right. Next, we got a little riddle. So, last episode, riddle was, I'm often stepped on, but rarely feel pain. What am I? Dope. <laughs> man, that's, man, that's fucking good. <laughs> That's not the answer. That's, not. <laughs> That's good, though. Some coke, man. I'll, man, I'll take that answer, honestly. Oh, oh no. I'm, I'm, off the, I'm, I'm stepped on. I'm off the stepped on, but I'm rarely feel pain. 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 That's how you really know you from the movie. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> That's easy. Yeah, his backstory checks out just off that alone. Let me see. Damn. Now you up already. Nigga, <laughs> see. What you think it is, Angie? Hey, what do you say? I'm often stepped on, but I rarely feel pain. It's a riddle. It's a riddle? Mm-hmm. I'm often stepped on, but... I said dope, but he said... <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. It's right? That's the answer. <laughs> it is dope. That's the answer. Uh, <laughs> well, we from that's the answer. <laughs> That's not, that's not the answer I'm looking for. I'll take it. I will take it because that's a, good. Is it a sky zone? I don't know. <laughs> it's a person that I, I feel like that been through stuff and just used stuff is so they don't feel, they don't feel that no more because they used stuff. She went deep they, there. They she like did. been hard so whatever somebody do you really don't feel it because you got to just keep going. That's Calloused. Wow. I'm cal- galvanized yeah, by the streets. For real. Hardened. <laughs> All right. Well, the answer is Souls. <laughs> Souls? Souls in your shoe. Oh! Both, I'm taking feet, but dope. Hey, I'm. <laughs> that's, the, that's the answer from now on, y'all. <laughs> All right, so this riddle, don't say the answer. Well, you can say the answer, and we'll just chop it out. Take a look at me and watch how fast I, go, I can go. That's the riddle. That's it? <laughs> what am I? Sorry. And watch how fast I can go. A rabbit? Wow, I knew you was gonna say. That. I don't know how I you knew I was gonna say a rabbit. I wrote out and then you gonna say a it's rabbit. a rabbit. It's not a rabbit. Not a rabbit. Is it an animal? A rabbit. It is not a rabbit. It's not. A, it's not. A, it's not any animal. Okay, I ain't, gonna say, I ain't about to rip my brain on this right now. Star? All right, last and certainly not least, Mark. We got a little something I like to call. <clears throat> Abrindavo. That's Spanish. That's my. That's, Let's my, do it. that's my teacher. 
My co-teacher. All right. right. Today's letter. Ooh. O. U. U. Come on, man. We did O like that. I wasn't sure. I was like, I don't we know what like sound like. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, first word. I, let me explain first. I give you three words. Translate them. Then I put all those words in the sentence, and I translate the sentence for you. Okay. All right. First word, util. Util. Useful. Okay. Okay. And second word, undecima. Undecima. Eleventh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No words start with you. Okay. <laughs> you might know this one. Unam. Unam menmente. Say it again. Unen me mente. I know una mente. That's like only him. I think. Something like that. Solo. Though. Solo. I don't know. Unen me mento is one moment. Unen me mento. Unanimously. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Today's phrase. Es útil saber que esta es la undécima vez que todos acordamos una me mente ignora al idiota. Somebody idiot. There you go. All <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, look. All right. It is useful to know that this is the eleventh time we all unanimously, unanimous, unanimous can you say it. Agreed to ignore the idiot. <laughs> and that's yeah, all I got today, y'all. Yeah. That was pretty quick for my segment. I'm, I'm using that that fast. Yeah, either or it's usually longer. Man, everybody, it was the easy one. You know, everybody was like, "Oh no." it was. That was all like straightforward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, nah, I, ain't, I ain't fucking with that. Now, we're on the back end of this program. Mm -hmm. And we cannot leave Close without now. hitting everybody's favorite segment, uh -oh. The Adventures of Florida Man. Now, this week, Florida Man robs victim at gunpoint outside Wendy's after he refused to buy him chicken nuggets. <laughs> Spicy. Why ain't you gonna rob the Wendy's? That's a good question. Damn. <laughs> Go in there and rob them. Why are you gonna rob me? Is it, you I ain't gonna buy them. Yeah. <laughs> easy to rob one person in the whole store. Hey, say, man, give me, give me a uh, probably six less piece charge nugget. Too. <laughs> yeah, charge probably less too. Yep. Because mm. he actually has the press charges. <laughs> hey, bro, you can give me some chicken nuggets out there, home. Wow. Nah. All right, well, give me everything you got, man. He should have <laughs> pointed the first and asked for the nuggets. Yeah, that probably, <laughs> he probably came at him crazy, like. Fuck, I ain't buying you no money. Broke ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. Broke ass nigga. Broke so, ass nigga. Oh, all right, cool. Oh, all right. Yeah, what's up right. with them nuggets, man? <laughs> they got you. Crazy. <laughs> nigga, I wanted a double burger with cheese. You <laughs> almost made me kill your nut. Throw some dumb shit. <laughs> Jay, investigators say 34 year old John Taylor approached the victim outside of Wendy's as he was getting out of his car and asked if he would buy him chicken nuggets. <laughs> The victim reportedly told Taylor he couldn't because he only had enough money for himself and went inside. Mm -hmm. As the man was leaving the restaurant, Taylor allegedly came up to him again and pointed a gun and demanded his keys and his gold chain. What Taylor took nuggets. As he <laughs> ate inside. So I, don't, so I don't want nuggets no more. I want everything you got. <laughs> Taylor then reportedly drove, reportedly drove off in the victim's car. He was arrested the next day after he crashed the vehicle during a chase. Oh, man. <laughs> he was charged with armed robbery, carjacking, fleeing and eluding police, and driving with a suspended license. Uh, this could have been avoided. Yeah. Get, that Get the man some nuggets. <laughs> My next time y'all go somewhere and somebody asks y'all for some chicken nuggets or something. I'm going to think of this story. <laughs> I'm going to get a nigga at six. You know what I'm saying? So I should probably do this before, you, yeah. before I get robbed. You got a gun on, on you? <laughs> So yeah, kind, of, kind of sauce you want, bro. Be nice, though. And then in New Orleans, it's a lot of homeless niggas. Yeah. That's, 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 that's tough. They ain't asking for no nuggets, though, I, I would imagine. <laughs> Some of them probably are. I don't know. <laughs> they specific, though. Oh, really, man? Yeah, Talking man. niggas like that. Yeah, I ain't want this sandwich. Ass nah, homeless nah, guy. Don't, don't eat man and shit. I, yeah. like, I asked for nigga, a you dollar, dollar, bitch. Yeah, yeah, they be, no they be vegan and shit. Like, they said it's vegan. Vegan. Homeless, I swear to Nigga, you have no home. This homeless vegan used to come in all the time and... Preach that's about not eating meat. Like, nigga, you talk, you're not eating sleep. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you're not eating sleep. Eat meat. Give you some fucking money. Yeah, that's crazy. So <laughs> now he really he didn't eat no meat. He had a phone. You come in there and charge it. You know, and uh, then he would go about his way. And yeah, he'd come back every every three days and tell us, y'all not eating meat, huh? Mm, and like, know. you know, um, yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, look, sorry. Sorry. Look, look, like, I literally just had a, a, a turkey neck plate. You know, <laughs> to this day. Yeah. They got a homeless dude 
had to sleep by my job. Apparently, he get a social security check every month. Mm-hmm. Wow. So he'd be missing on the first. <laughs> Apparently, he has a very bad drinking problem, though. So that's yeah, why yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where it goes. Yep. <laughs> Can't hold on to it. All right. And then, on this date, today is June 8th. Yeah. I only got two things. July. July. June 8th. Hmm? July. July. Oh, shit. So you looked up the wrong date. Yep. <laughs> this nigga. Damn. Well, never do that. That's why you do your, st- your you prepare your segments when you're sober. Uh, oh no no no! I, I did it right. I did it right. Okay. I just put. I just typed Julie. All right, it's July eighth. I got two things. They they related, so that kind of makes it relevant. It really not though. Uh, y'all believe in aliens? You believe in aliens? I do. Okay okay. Well, I just can't. Sort of, I just don't think we're the only people. That's yeah. The only beings. I, I period in the whole universe. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> the arrogance us. of us. We're not even that. Good. We're not even that good. Yeah, we fucking shit up. <laughs> Say we're the best God has to offer. <laughs> okay, so in 1947, July 8th, reports were broadcast that a UFO crash landed in Roswell, New Mexico. Hmm. That's what mm-hmm. started all the Roswell yeah. Area 51, all that yeah, stuff. Okay. And then in 2011, June, July 8th, the space shuttle Atlantis launched its final mission of the U.S. space shuttle program. Wow. So it all kind of tied in together. All oh, tied all in. All about space. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I reached. That's all I had. That's <laughs> all I had. I had to make something. Say, you took birthday, me, you ain't been having nothing. The birthdays is worse. Space. Ain't nothing, huh? The birthdays is worse. I got three birthdays. Okay. June 8th, 1958. Hey, Kevin Bacon. Hey, hey, hey. Actor. Yeah. Can't really tell you no movie season. Footloose. Footloose. Yeah. Footloose. 1961. Mr. Shop. River. Beauty Shop. Queen Latifah. Yeah. He, he oh, was, he was Jorge. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You're he right. was Jorge. Took me a second. <laughs> in uh, 1961, July 8th, we got Toby Keith. Happy, oh, that's a interesting. Hey, this man was out here. Uh, wait, what was that? No, that, that was, was called Brooks. Brooks. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> the Jay-Z of country know. music. <laughs> man, the Jay-Z right. to Drake. Yeah, he's the that country. He had Baton Rouge fucked up that day, boy. Because yeah. he had the whole traffic fucked up. Bro, from like 3 o'clock in the afternoon to like 1 in the morning, yeah. traffic was horrible. Yeah, white dude <laughs> sent me a Snapchat of him at the golf uh, So many. Like, Why the fuck you sent this to me? <laughs> <laughs> so many white people walking around in cowboy hats that night. I fuck with guard, though. Really? That's my go-to for karaoke. Really? <laughs> uh, oh, man. The country music. Thunder Rose. Oh, God, I don't know that song. Yeah, man. Thunder Rose on his big ones. Okay. Under Rose, uh, Friends in Low Places. That's the one I know. Uh, and he got that Call in Baton Rouge. Call in Baton Rouge, of course. You know. <laughs> and then, uh, last but not least, the best, probably the most famous out of all. Well, maybe not. Toby Keith might be fighting him. But uh, 1998, July 8th, Jaden Smith. Ah, okay. Wow. Jaden Smith is 98? He's born in 98. 98. Hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. I never know how old this guy is. I always 24? think he's like still 18. Yeah. Yeah, it <laughs> felt like it. Yeah. He looked like it. Yeah. yeah. That run his blood, though. <laughs> yeah, it did. Both his parents yeah. look young still. Facts. Yeah. Slapping arms still in good strength. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good shape, I should say. <laughs> okay. Any uh, shout outs? Uh, man, shout out. You might out. be tapped out on shout outs. <laughs> I gave a million. <laughs> yeah, you, you did your part. Shout out Juwan Ford. Shout out Jay Trill. Shout out Indigo Sun. Blair. Shout out, shout out, Loco. Shout out, shout, shout out, out Pastor Petty. Who you yeah. said that? Mike Honore. Oh yeah, shout out Mike Honore. Shout out yeah, JP Leonard. Yeah. Shout out Terrence Delaney. Mm-hmm. What's up, T? Shout out, um, shout out Ree. Shout out, shout out Alana J. Shout out Mia. Shout out Alana, man. Um, Shout out and River just dropped his album. Yeah, oh, yeah. shout out, shout out, out Snake. Yeah, man, the country, yeah, man. The country EP. EP. Shout out to River, man. Yeah. Forgot about that. Shout out. Um, you said J Can. He's doing the show. Yeah, he on the show tonight. Shout out. Man. Uh, shout out to Pitcher Pants. Yeah, man. Yeah. Again, the whole army. The whole the Betty army. at the Navy. <laughs> 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 Really out here. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, we hope y'all had a good time listening. We appreciate shout out y'all. Mark, shout out oh, yeah. Shout out, shout out Mark Caesar for coming through again. again. Appreciate y'all having me, man. Yes, Real talk. Real yes, talk. Yes, I'm going to put on tonight at Silly Rabbit, man. Shout out to sure. y'all for watching and listening. Go tell all your friends and family. Yes, sir. Like, man. share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, man. Oh, man. Shout out Dirty Mouth Comedian for shout also out. being in the building. You hear me? Shout out Dirty mm-hmm. Mouth. Appreciate you. And we hope we catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all yeah. have a good day. Speak life unto yourself. Keep growing. Keep going, baby. Holla.